Number 42. Sketch the equipotential line surrounding the two connecting planes shown in the figure. Given the top plate is positive and the bottom has an equal amount of negative, be certain to indicate the distribution. Is the field strongest where the plates are closest? Okay, as you can tell, I love doing these problems. So let's say that this is positive and this is negative. Hopefully I can stay awake through this one. If I have to draw then the electric field lines, you know that from an object, they're always going to be perpendicular relative to the surface. So this one has to start like this. From the negative charge, it would have to start like this. And I gotta basically connect those two in a smooth line. So it's gonna be some type of curved line of sorts. All right, I'm gonna try my best. That works. Same thing here, perpendicular, perpendicular. So it would look something like that. Same thing here. I think we get the idea, right? All right. So now if I had to draw then the equipotential lines, I know that they're going to be, let's say around the positive, it's basically an oval-like because uh, at any particular distance relative to this object, it has to be an equal amount of potential. All right, that's the whole point of this formula. If the distance is the same anywhere along this object, away from the object, the potential has to be the same, okay? Similarly now for the negative charge object. So it's gonna be like an oval structure there too. But what we realize is that here especially is going to be a region of very high um, uh, potential. And the reason why is because the distance between the two is going to be so short, right? So what happens here is that, you know, this next line is going to kind of get a little squished in here. And it's going to kind of work its way on out a little bit. Same thing with the negative charge. Again, it's going to get squished a little bit. Squish. That's really squished. Squish. And then it's going to work its way on out, etc. All right, so it's going to have this type of a shape. It's going to be the strongest, actually, I already met, you know, basically in this region where they're closest. Why should it be? It's according to the formula. Right, we know that the potential is going to be, the potential always will change, um as a function of distance relative to the charge. Remember, if you know the electric field lines, they always point towards decreasing potential. Increasing potential will always point then in the opposite direction. Okay. And uh, sure. All right, guys. I'm out. <laughs>